For this project, we are going to be learning about the Mexican holiday Dia de los Muertos, Day of the Dead, where families celebrate loved ones who have passed on. We will be drawing our very own calavera, or a skull, and decorating it in traditionally bright and joyful colors. We are going to be using our Quick Sticks paint pens to trace out the shape of a skull on our paper. Together, we will add a few details to make our skull look symmetrical. We're going to give him two eyes, a nose that's kind of shaped like an upside down heart, and a mouth. And he can be smiling, he could be frowning, or it could be straight across. I am going to try to use the edge of my paint pen to add those lumpy, lumpy teeth all the way around his smiley mouth. At that point, I'm gonna stop and take a break and we're gonna talk about this idea of symmetry. The idea that both sides of my calavera should match. So if you add a colorful detail to one side, like this bright pink circle, I need to add a matching bright pink circle on the other side. In this way, our calavera will have symmetry. If I fill in his eye yellow on one side, I need to fill in his eye yellow on the opposite side. If I add dotted, kind of like flower petals around his eye in orange on one side, I need to add, you guessed it, those dotted orange flower petals around the eye on the other side. Now, I'm an artist and I'm a human and I make mistakes, so it's not going to be exactly perfect symmetry. If I folded this together, it would not match up perfectly, but it would be pretty close. So anytime I add a detail on one side, I need to add a matching detail to the other side. You are gonna continue working on your calavera, adding one detail on one side and the matching detail on the other until it is filled up with beautiful decorations. We are not drawing outside of our skull yet. That will come later in the project with a different art tool. Remember when using our paint pens, using the flat side will fill in large spaces, leaning it a little on the edge will allow you to make skinny lines. Now this top design I'm adding is symmetrical. It doesn't have to match down to the bottom because I'm only working on one line of symmetry. Those curved lines, if they folded over, they would match up with each other. So your design at the top of your skull just has to match across that line of symmetry. You do not need to fill in your entire skull with color, but I am kind of sneaking little bits and drops of color into all the places. So once I'm done, I only have little tiny bits of white poking through. At the very end, I might add some black lines, final detail designs, um, but I don't wanna go too crazy with that black because I want my beautiful colors to so, still sh shine through. When I'm done with that, or maybe even on another day, I'm gonna put my paint pens away and we're gonna get out the colorful bingo daubers. These are a lot like the ink daubers that we use, except we are only going to use them for dots. I am also only going to pick three colors. I chose blue and yellow and orange. Now my dots do not have to be symmetrical, but I do want them kind of evenly spaced all around my background. I want to try to keep them from overlapping because that will mess up the tips of my bingo dauber, giving each colorful dot its own space. 